one that I, I voiced. I, I couldn't care less about agnosticism versus atheism as a, as a question to be answered. I couldn't care less about uh, whether religion is believed to be uh, bad or good. What I would like is a factual answer, and I believe we can get it. Right. Well, thank, thank you. you for that. And let me bring in our second caller, Alan uh, Aramid from Warsaw in Poland. Do you have a question that you want to put to Professor Richard Dawkins? Yes. Uh, good afternoon, Professor Dawkins. Hello. Hello. Uh, my question to you is, um, if one day you, you die, or after death, you suddenly find out that uh, there is a God out there, Will you, what would your reaction be? Will you be surprised? Will you, be, uh, you, will you say you are wrong? Or will you just say, please forgive me, God? Well, the first thing I might say is, which God are you? Are you Zeus, or Thor, or Apollo, or Baal? Uh, and then the next question I would ask would be, why did you conceal yourself so adequately? Did you deliberately go out of your way to make it look as though you don't exist? And the third question I would ask would be a whole lot of questions about science. Because if there is a God, then he would have, or she would have, or it would have, a whole lot of fascinating answers to fascinating questions. And assuming that he had the time, which I rather doubt, to answer my questions, I would love to ask all sorts of questions about science. Alan Aramid, is that the answer you were expecting? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not so satisfied, uh, but... Let it be. I'm a believer, I'm a Christian, and um, I think uh, I read a lot of thing, uh, things about you on the internet, and uh, I haven't uh, come across your, uh, your books. I think I'll read them, but uh, what I think is, um, you know, it's just impossible for, uh, to, for, for the uh, earth to exist without... Um, anything been behind it. I mean, in my own case, God. So that's, that's it. So in, in your own case, can you just, uh, just explain what you mean by that? Yeah, that in my own case, yeah. God is behind yes. the creation. You know, God is a creator. Uh, that uh, the heart cannot exist without, just couldn't exist without uh, anybody or anything being uh, behind it. Well, what is behind God then? Oh, well... When we die, we will we'll know. That when is, you I die, think, what, if it, what if you Professor, get to heaven and it turns out to be Baal? Wait, Professor Douglas, uh, sorry to cut you. I think, you know, I've, I also, I was also, uh, um, um, I was, I was also um, a non-believer. I was a uh, atheistic, and uh, suddenly something will come in your life that uh, you will find out that it cannot happen just like that. That it must be, uh, you know, in my own case, it was God. But, you know, many people live and okay. uh, they just, something just happened to them that change, uh, changes their life. And they start to believe. So I can understand you because you are atheist, you are atheist and uh, you haven't experienced what other uh, believer, or believers or Muslims or Christians have uh, experienced. Right. But uh, I, I think uh, you also need to understand them. Uh, maybe okay. you're still living, and I wish you to live uh, <laughs> longer. But um, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if one day you just experience something that will convince you uh, that a good uh, right. exists. Alan Aramid, um, thank you. Thank you very much, Lida. I'm afraid we'll have to uh, uh, end it there. Thank you very much for your call. Uh, and then because we turn now to, uh, to Istanbul in Turkey where we can speak to uh, uh, Aslihan Eker. Uh, now, of course, in the case of Turkey, the God Delusion, Richard Dawkins' book, has been uh, published there, but both the publisher and the translator, I gather, are being investigated to see whether charges should be brought against them. Do you believe that the book should have been published uh, in Turkey, given the stand that uh, Richard Dawkins takes on religion? 
Um, I think, yes. Uh, I think freedom of expression should be protected by law um, in any cases. But I think there should be borders. Uh, I mean, people should not offend other people um, in, I mean, in terms of their religion, their race, or other things. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't read the book, uh, but the reader uh, who complained about his book, Mr. Dovkin's book, um, said that it was, a, it was an offensive book uh, somehow. Um, but but your, your point is one of I principle, mean, that whatever is in it, you believe that it, it should be published. People should have the freedom to, to read it. Definitely, yeah, definitely. I think, I mean, uh, there is no comp compulsory in religion. Uh, it's what we believe in Islam. So uh, people should be able to uh, uh, express yeah. their views you, if they don't believe God. And I, uh, I mean, I'm sure there will be other people who will confront them uh, if they want, I mean, if they don't believe what they say. So it should be, I mean, the, this discussion, the debate should be in terms of uh, like intellectual um, uh, area, not like, you know, kind of in the courts. Uh, Asahan, you wear the headscarf yourself. Uh, tell us a little about your own belief and, and in particular how you define God, how you define Allah in your own understanding of faith. Right. Um, I mean, what we believe is there is one God, God um, and n not other, and God is, I mean, um, it's just a unique God. Uh, Allah is a unique, and uh, we cannot describe um, him, and we don't know where he is, and, like, there is no description. So, um, I mean, <laughs> so what, that's it. So, from that standpoint, then, uh, what question would you want to put to uh, Professor Dawkins in that he does not believe in the existence of God? Um, right. Um, I mean, in, in this case, um, I would ask him, I mean, not uh, in his uh, belief or uh, not this belief in, in God, but uh, in this case, I, I would ask him uh, whether he, um, he thinks that he's offending the uh, people, believers, uh, I mean, in any religion, in Christianity or Islam, whether he, he's believing that, you know, he um, kind of humiliates people who believe uh, in God. So, I mean, okay. it's, it's my question. I think uh, he has a right to say what he believes uh, okay. in a scientific way. Okay. Uh, Richard Dawkins, uh, would you accept well, that you could be offended? I'm delighted, a large of all, I'm delighted, first of all, to hear that the lady thinks that my book shouldn't be censored. Uh, I'm sorry to hear she hasn't read it. I hope she will read it. And when she does read it, I think she will conclude that it is not offensive. Um, obviously, you can't accuse a book of being offensive unless you've, unless you've read it. Um, I believe strongly that you would not find it offensive. But it is very likely that there are many people who would... Well, read if you are offended by reading views that so disagree with yours, then yes, you will be offended. However, it's not gratuitously offensive. It simply puts an argument... And if your views are strong enough, as I believe they are, you will be able to defend your views. You will not say, oh, it's offensive, it's offensive. You will say, no, you're wrong here, and you're wrong here, and you're wrong here. And that's what you should do. And so, I think uh, that is what okay. you would do, and I hope you will do it when you've read the book. Uh, Aslam, what would your response be to that? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think um, he, he's right. I think I should... Yeah, I read the book uh, to be able to, I mean, say, uh, to be able to answer what, what he's saying right now. And, um, yes, uh, I mean, if, he, if it's not offensive, I think he has every right to, uh, to, to express himself. Um, and he's a scientist, uh, obviously, and, I mean, he has a right to, um, I think, every right to uh, say what he believes in. And I'm sure, I mean, there will be other people, theolo theologists or scientists, who would